Guess how much this costs? 87 cents is how much this bowl of cereal costs. It's a lot more than I thought. And it kind of got me thinking, how much do the breakfast costs that I usually eat? So I want to show you three breakfasts that I've been loving at the moment that actually cost less than a bowl of cereal. These are criminally underrated in my opinion. And I just don't feel like they get enough love. So the first one I want to show you is this fried banana toast that costs only 50 cents. All you need is these three ingredients, bread, peanut butter, and banana. And don't let these basic ingredients put you off. There will be a twist. And it is surprisingly gourmet. That is all I'll say. Surprisingly gourmet. So I'm just peeling and slicing the banana in half like this, spraying a tiny bit of oil in a pan heated to medium, getting the banana in, and while it's frying, getting some toast going. I like to use two slices for this, gluten-free, regular, rye bread, whatever kind you want is fine. And the banana fries quite quickly, so just keep an eye on it. When it's starting to caramelize like this, I like to flip it to cook it on the other side. And we're basically done. <laughs> The toast is ready, so spreading two tablespoons of peanut butter on top and finally adding the fried banana on top, which is the twist by the way. This is a twist on regular banana peanut butter toast. This is not your average toast. These are just optional ingredients. A little bit of honey, a little bit of cinnamon. You can add just a little sprinkle and a little drizzle if you want. Fried banana toast, look at that. Less than 50 cents. So this next one is a speedy breakfast that is a new take on Instant Oats. So first I'm adding half a cup of Instant Oats to a bowl with half a cup of milk and two tablespoons of plain yogurt. Any kind of milk and yogurt are fine, vegan or whatever kind you want. With a teaspoon of brown sugar and a little sprinkle of cinnamon, add some nice flavor, but it's optional. And mix it up. So this is basically done. It just needs to soak for two minutes. So in that time, we're gonna cut up this apple. It's a perfect apple. And after soaking the oats for about two to five minutes, serving it out into this other bowl for no particular reason other than I thought it was cute. Then getting the apple on top and adding one tablespoon of peanut butter for some protein. I love peanut butter. It's so cheap and it goes with so many different things. Great for breakfast. And you can also add another little sprinkle of cinnamon on top if you want to make it look pretty. I'm really good. <laughs> I really, really like this one because it's very simple ingredients. I feel good when I eat it. But it's also just a little bit more interesting than regular instant oats. It's a, a new take on instant oats and there's no cooking required, so... I got one more to show you. If you're an eggs on toast kind of a person, you're gonna like this one. <laughs> it's the easiest burrito that I know how to make. Starting by cracking and whisking two eggs in a bowl. We're making scrambled eggs. Spraying a tiny bit of oil in a pan, adding the eggs in and scrambling them around. It takes like less than two minutes. Look how fast that was. <laughs> then quickly heating a tortilla. And now it's just putting everything together. Some fresh baby spinach in the middle of the tortilla, the scrambled eggs on top of the baby spinach, two tablespoons of salsa on top of that. And this is like the magic ingredient. It adds so much flavor, so don't skip it. And then some salt and pepper. Now just for the wrap. Tucking the sides in, folding it over, tucking the other sides in, rolling it up, just to try your best. And I'm wrapping mine in some parchment paper and slicing it in half. And that is the easiest burrito that I know how to make. It's a scrambled egg breakfast burrito. And I will say about this one, it looks quite good, but it tastes, it will surprise you. It tastes really good. So that is three cheap breakfasts that I feel are severely underrated. They deserve more love. They're all amazing. If you're looking for more breakfast ideas, even more than this, I've got a video linked over here. It's some of my favorite overnight oats recipes. You might enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching.